It's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing yet another vegan meal prep video. So I'm going to be showing you three easy and vegan recipes that are perfect to make ahead of time to last you through the school week or the work week. You guys seem to really like meal prep videos and do request them. So if you want more, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And you can also hit that subscribe button down there if you want, because I post two new videos every single week. So today I'm going to show you how to make an acai chia pudding for a breakfast, some black bean burrito bowls for lunch, and a super yummy corn chowder for dinner. So let's get on to the recipes. First up, we're going to be making some acai chia pudding bowls. And these are my solution to those times when you want to have an acai bowl for breakfast, but you have to go on the go. So we're going to actually be making everything in a blender. So we're going to start out by adding some non-dairy milk as well as some acai powder. I have one that I use linked in my blog post, but you can use any one that you have. We're also going to add a little bit of blueberries for a flavor and color. And then we're also going to sweeten it with some medjool dates. You can adjust this according to your personal preference or use maple syrup if you'd like, but I wanted to keep it fruit sweetened. And then you're just going to blend everything together and it's going to make this amazing, beautiful, gorgeous purple color. And then we're going to add our chia seeds to the blender as well. I'm doing this because I have a high powered blender that can go at a really low speed. But if you have a normal blender that doesn't really go at a low speed, you might just want to whisk them in a bowl unless you want a chia seed puree. But basically I just mix them in at a low setting and then I let it sit for about five minutes. As you can see here, I filmed the time lapse. The chia seeds are going to gradually start absorbing the liquid. And then after about five minutes, I give it an additional stir. And then this causes the chia seeds to absorb the liquid a lot more and it will continue to thicken as time goes by. So this is what the mixture looks like once it's thickened. It'll taste like an acai bowl, but it's nice and portable. But I just wanted to say, if you're not a fan of chia seeds, you can also blend these in your blender even further and it will literally make the texture of a pudding so you don't have to worry about those crunchy bits. So then to assemble our bowls, we're going to start with some granola and fresh fruit on the bottom. You can use any fruit you have. I just used a mix of some berries and kiwi that I had on hand. Then you're going to add in your chia pudding and then top it off with additional acai bowl like toppings. So I added some more fresh fruit, some cacao nibs, and a sprinkle of extra granola for good measure. And then you're just going to repeat this with the rest of your chia puddings and you have a nice acai bowl that is portable and super easy to take on the go for breakfast. Then for lunch, we're going to be prepping some chipotle black bean burrito bowls. This recipe does have a few steps, but they all are fairly simple and it's easy to multitask. So first we're going to start out with some black beans. I am using dry black beans that I buy in bulk. I find that it's the cheapest and the most cost effective. So you're going to add them to a large bowl and cover them with filtered water and then let them sit overnight. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it just makes the cooking time faster the next day. So it's okay if you forgot. So then you're going to drain the beans and put them into your instant pot and then for our liquid we're going to be using a low sodium vegetable broth then we're also going to be adding some minced garlic and some chipotle peppers in adobo these come in a can you can find them in most grocery stores they're usually in the international foods aisle but they are spicy and smoky and very very tasty and then we're just going to seal the lid on and cook these beans and then in the meantime we're going to prep a few other things starting with some vegan chipotle mayo this stuff is absolutely addicting and so easy to make you're just going to add some soaked cashews to a blender along with some lime juice a little bit of water a clove of garlic another chipotle pepper in adobo and a pinch of cumin and salt and then you're just going to blend that up and you have a nice spread this is perfect for the burrito bowls we're going to be using it in two different ways but honestly i just love to have this in my fridge in general because i love it as a condiment as well the second thing we're going to prep while our beans are cooking is some seared corn. I post about this on Instagram and a lot of you guys seemed really interested in it, so I decided to include it in a recipe video. Basically, you're just going to add some corn and limes to a pan, and depending how dry your corn is, you may need to add a little bit of water. But basically, you're just going to cook it in a nonstick pan. You don't need to add any oil or anything and just stir it every once in a while. And you do want to wait a little bit in between stirring so the corn gets a little brown. As you can see, stuff is kind of starting to stick to the bottom of the pan 
pan and this is how we know the corn is baking and quote unquote searing and then finally we're going to deglaze the pan with the juice of that lime and this gets all the stuff off the bottom of the pan which is really just flavor and it gets it onto the corn and makes it nice and brown and delicious so at this point our black beans will be done cooking and you're just going to drain the extra liquid off of them i'd like to save just a little bit in there because they do tend to dry out a little in the fridge and then you're going to just remove the chipotle peppers uh, they've already infused into the beans but if you want things to be extra spicy you can actually dice them and return them to the bowl with the black beans as well i like to do that we're also going to add in some lime juice and some salt to taste and then just stir everything together and you have a big old batch of beans for the week also, while the beans are cooking, you should cook some brown rice or another grain of your choice. I figured you guys know how to cook rice, so I didn't film a step-by-step -step tutorial, but you know, just for the record, now you know, cook some rice so you can assemble your bowls. So now it is time to actually assemble these burrito bowls. So we do need some greens in our life, you know, every once in a while, so I decided to use some kale. First, I just started out by de-stimming a few bunches or leaves of kale, and then I broke those leaves up into tiny pieces into a bowl and the great thing about kale is it doesn't wilt very easily so you can make a big batch at the beginning of the week and it will last you throughout the week here i'm just massaging with my hands first this helps to break it up and make it a little bit more tender and then we're going to add some of that chipotle mayo to the kale and massage that in and this helps to break it down more and make the leaves soft so then to assemble our bowl we're going to start out with a base of the massaged kale with some brown rice some black beans some of that seared corn and then i also decided to add in some freshly chopped tomatoes some red onion some cilantro some avocado and a drizzle of that chipotle mayo that i just thinned out with a little bit of water obviously you can modify this recipe to suit whatever veggies that you have in your fridge this is actually how i personally prefer to meal prep just prepping a bunch of veggies and combining them all into a satisfying burrito bowl and you can either prep it at home or take it on the go if you need to as well so then last but not least we're going to be making a summer vegan corn chowder for dinner and even though it does say summer i think this is yummy all year round it's sort of like a tex-mex corn chowder flavor so again we're going to start out by searing some corn corn was just really cheap and it was in season guys so you know i just decided to go with it you're going to need about three large ears of corn for this recipe and this corn was actually a lot juicier than the other corn so i didn't need to add any liquid to the pot itself but we're basically just cooking it the exact same way that we seared the corn for lunch you just cook it down till all the liquid gets off and then the corn will eventually start to stick to the bottom and become a little bit more brown so at this point you're actually going to remove the corn from the pot set it aside and then return the pot to the stove and you're still going to deglaze it with a little bit of water to get those flavors going and then we're going to add some red onion jalapeno red pepper garlic the stems of cilantro and some smoked paprika to a pot and you're going to saute that in the water until the onions become translucent and all of that seared corn flavor is getting into the veggies at this point too and i really think it helps make the soup taste even more satisfying then at this point we're just going to return our seared corn back to the pot and then add in some diced potato for a little bit of heartiness. And then I decided to make this creamy using a vegan cream cheese. I'm actually using a vegan jalapeno cream cheese to make things even spicier, but you can just use a regular vegan cream cheese. I think it makes it taste more authentic because the cream cheese is fermented and it has a sort of dairy, like that soury taste, you know, you know, I don't know but you're gonna mix it all together and then we're going to add some vegetable broth and just simply bring this to a simmer, give it a few good stirs. And then once it is simmering, you're just going to cook it for a few minutes until the potatoes become nice and tender. And you do wanna stir it every once in a while because the soup is thicker, just to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. So then after your potatoes are soft and all the veggies are cooked and the flavors are all well incorporated, you're going to remove about half of the soup and put it into a blender. You can do a little more, a little bit less, depending how thick or not thick you'd like your soup to be. I liked it to be pretty thick with a few chunks, so I took about half out, put it in my blender, and then returned it. And this also helps make the soup creamier too because the corn has a nice starchy component as well as the potatoes. So you're just going to stir that in until everything is well incorporated. And then you have your super yummy, yummy corn chowder. 
So you can just plop this in a big container and serve it for dinner. I mean, it would also work for lunch too. You could switch these meals if you want, or you can set up a super fancy uh, setting for dinner or just, you know, put it in a bowl. I like to top mine with some fresh jalapeno and some cilantro and lime juice at the end, guys, though. That is key and it makes it taste so yummy. As you can see, it's very thick and creamy and hearty and a perfect way to end the day. I would also serve it with some toast too. That would be really good. And there are three easy vegan recipes that would be perfect for meal prep. Obviously, you don't have to make all of these if you just prefer to make your dinners every night, or you can mix and match them with some of your other favorite recipes that you already have in your repertoire. The world is your vegan oyster. You can even just use these recipes for inspiration if you want to, but if you are looking to print them out or save them for later, just a friendly reminder, I always have all of the recipes linked in the description of this video, as well as a link to my Pinterest page where I pin all of these recipes and other recipes so you can save them for later if you want. This is normally the part of the video where I'd ask you to like and subscribe, but I already did that at the beginning of the video, so I guess I'll just end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!